We're here at Mobile World Congress Americas in Los Angeles. I'm here with Jonathan Davidson of Cisco. And Jonathan, the first thing uh, we should probably talk about right away is a big deal with T-Mobile. It was announced today. So what uh, what was announced? And yeah. let's 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 get into sort of what it means for Cisco and the industry in general. Sure. Well, first, we're very excited to be partnering with with T-Mobile and what's happening with them, specifically with the transition that they're going through. Mm -hmm. We announced that we've been partnering on the world's largest virtual packet core network. Uh, for, for mobile, which is exciting. This is a, a, a massive technology leap forward mm -hmm. and, and something that uh, that T-Mobile has been a, a phenomenal partner with. So it helps them save uh, a cost in terms of the, the, the infrastructure that they're building. They can, they can build out in, in a, uh, more rapidly. What, what are the other advantages that, that Cisco's bringing to T-Mobile as they're, as they're building out the, the mobile core? Well, well think about what, what, our, what our customers care about as their customers. And so the ability to think about the time to value. So the time, okay. not, not, not our time to value, but right. T-Mobile's but time to value. So the, the ability for them to be able to deliver new services rapidly requires a software-based approach. It requires an approach where we can go and hand off software within weeks and then they can go and push that into their infrastructure so that their end customers are able to, to take advantage of new services as rapidly as possible. Yeah, and I think making them as agile as possible is really the name of the game here is we're seeing all this behavior being driven by the consumer market. And as soon as customers are onto something, they want it right then. Yeah. And, and it, that's only going to accelerate, I suppose, with 5G uh, speeds and, and late, low latency and all of that going on. So 5G we view as a, as a new service and enabler. Mm -hmm. And that, that new service enabler is, is going to require a lot of software development. Yeah. And we don't want to get into this old fashioned mode where we are delivering software and then a year later it gets deployed. We have to be very collaborative uh, with, with our partners and how they want to take services to market. And 5G is only going to accelerate those new types of services because of the scarcity of, of, uh, of bandwidth going away in this future world. So you're in the um, running the uh, service provider business inside of Cisco now. How is the you know the, the this new uh, change in the industry you know affecting Cisco on the inside? Because your customers are obviously having to react to their customers in a different yeah. way. And like you said, setting up as a software uh, a, a software. Uh, company in a more agile way is, is also a bit of a change, right? Well, think about what, what every engineer really wants is they want what they build, they create, mm -hmm. they want it to be used. Right. And they want it to be used soon. Right. And so you know, being able to get software where we write and then we get it in our customers' hands and then it gets deployed as rapidly as possible, that's exciting, that's invigorating. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what our, what our engineers want to be able to do. And this is changing how we're, you know, instead of going to that mode where we were building software, we hand it off eight months later, and then it gets deployed a year later. You know, we're now writing code, and within you know, days or weeks, it's in our customers' infrastructure, and then in you know, a few more weeks, and it's deployed out to their customers. And this isn't just in mobile. Mm -hmm. We're seeing this happen in the cable environment, and we're seeing it happen in, in more traditional wireline networks as well. So it is transformative. For, for the entire industry, and we're very happy to have great partners like, like Timo and, and other great partners that are helping us go and accelerate this into the industry. How do you position Cisco now in the, in the 5G arena since we're at Mobile World Congress? Yeah. Um, you know, relative to competitors, what, what's Cisco bringing to the table that's, uh, that, that, that's a unique uh, value to these, to these operators that, yeah. are, that are on, uh, you know, they aren't they're on the clock now. They have to get the, these networks yeah. up and going soon. Yeah, certainly all the announcements we've seen this week have shown that everyone knows they're on the clock and yeah. is getting things out there really quickly. Yeah. Look, it, if we think about 5G, it's much, it's much more than just radios. Mm -hmm. It is about this new mechanism for delivering services, whether they be consumer services or whether they're enterprise services. And so the scarcity of bandwidth going away mm -hmm. right, through 5G means that there's going to be net new services that are going to be delivered. And we believe a lot of that is going to be based upon the multi-cloud that we all uh, know and love and talk about a lot and the ability to enable enterprises to take more control, to partner with service providers to get where they need to go with the right level of policy and security. And so that is one of the big areas that we've been focused on is those new services that we can partner with SPs to deliver to enterprises to enable them to actually afford their 5G build-outs. Okay, sounds great. Well, thanks so much for spending the time with us and have, have a great uh, rest of the show. All right, great. Thank you very much.